Hello, and welcome back to another random one wheel ride. Today I'm going to the park. So I'm starting out here and it's approaching sunset. It's a really nice day, but they call it the golden hour. So everything looks really good here. Another thing that's an improvement somewhat is the video angle that I have. In the past two videos, when I was just kind of trying things out, there were issues. There's an issue with it being not pointed too high or too low or being kind of askew. This doesn't really suffer from that as much. The reason why I don't have those other problems is because I'm instead of facing more forward, I'm kind of looking more to the side. So that makes for a better angle. It's not on a tilt or anything like that. But then you don't really see anything coming is the problem. It's always something passing by. There's still things that I got to think about how I want to do this for future videos. So here is a little, it's not a public park, but it's kind of like a courtyard for this apartment complex. It's, I don't think it's technically necessarily open to everyone, but everybody goes there. I just cut through here. I don't think it's an issue as long as I'm not causing any trouble. The residents don't seem to mind. It's just kind of about as random as it gets. There's apartment buildings. Um, there's the medical campus that you kind of see right there where I work at. What I'm really enjoying about this ride is just the time that I came out in. It's, like I said, it's sunset. It's not too hot. The lighting is really nice. You got these cool little lens flares that naturally happen. It's looking pretty clean like this corner in this area can be really bad sometimes. It just depends on how long it goes between the city comes and does a cleanup. And on this particular route, I'm familiar with it, so I'm pretty comfortable here. And the sidewalks are pretty good. There are only two sketchy places here. One we already kind of passed way back earlier when I was uh, going to the entrance to the, into the, to the courtyard. There's nothing really tricky other than that it's kind of steep. And the first time I attempted that, I had a bad fall. Luckily I had my helmet on. But it really kind of tweaked my neck. Again, I think it was just I was approached it too slow, and then with a little bit steeper angle, it caused me to fall. Even now, I'm kind of a little bit wary of it, but I really shouldn't be. And then the only other kind of sketchy part of this route is further on ahead, and I'll point it out later. Another thing I want to point out here is, um, you see this pedestrian is, you know, really polite and everything and moves to the side to give me plenty of room. And I always try to be courteous when I'm on my one wheel. I don't hog up the whole uh, sidewalk by riding in the middle. I always try to pick, you know, one side or the other and be aware of what's going around me. And the reason I point that, all that out is that on this ride, you'll see different versions of all interactions with pedestrians. Like the first one stepped aside. This one was cool too because they just stayed to one side of the sidewalk. There was plenty of room for both of us. They didn't have to stop and give me right away or anything like that. And it worked out just fine. And a little bit here you'll see another interaction I have another with another person. It's a little bit different. And I'm going pretty quick here. I mean it's not like blazing fast but it's uh, a pretty swift pace. And here comes the other person. So this is someone going even faster than me on one of those scooters. And again, he was able to get by me no problem. There was room for both of us, even though we're both on electrical um, transport devices. You know, no issue there. So you got one person completely stepping up the sidewalk, not necessary, but nice. Another person, you know, just taking to one side, making room, no problem. Another person actually coming up behind me. And again, there's no issue getting by. And right there just now is the other rough spot. I don't know if you saw it. It's a little black patch. It's just, it just did some construction there and it's just rough. You got to be careful about transitioning there. It's 
So here we come to the other interaction I have um, with pedestrians. Not this guy. You'll see him come on camera here in a bit. This guy on the longboard. So compared to the other people, look this guy is. He's in the middle. He's not off to one side or the other. And if you notice here, my pace, it slows down. Like really crawling, which is kind of a pain in a one wheel. And I have to because between this guy's slow pace and taking up the entire sidewalk and then the posts there and other th obstacles, it's just it's a real pain. If you might not have seen it, but there was a point where he looked back, he knew I was there. So that's just one of my pet peeves about riding when people, I don't know, they're just oblivious or whatever. Like you saw another pedestrian right there just now. They were on the side of the sidewalk and there was no problem passing for the both of us. But you get the longboard guy for whatever reason just isn't getting it. Like make way, you know, don't take up the whole entire sidewalk. It's not just for you. This is just the ride to the park. There's going to be another video where I go around in this park and head on home. But here's this little glimpse of this park. It's, it's a nice, quiet area, but I'll get into more details in the next video. Anyways, thanks for checking out this random one-wheel ride, and I'll see you next time. Bye.